<laughs> You're driving. I'm driving. Yes, sir. I'm the driver. What a year 2021 has been. It's been a roller coaster of a ride. I've traveled, you know, we've been locked down, but it's been a hell of a year, and I'm very grateful for everything that I've been able to do this year, considering the circumstances. Being locked down at the start of the year, to going on the first van trip, to traveling abroad for work and for pleasure, I feel very grateful and privileged to be in this situation, and I don't take it lightly. But it's come with hard work and determination. I wouldn't have been there without, if I didn't last year, put my head down and got stuck into work. And that's all I did last year, and all I did this year was just work, 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 like trying to keep going and better myself. And I feel like that this year is paid off, and I'm very grateful for that, but it hasn't come without sacrifice and determination. And what I'm trying to get across is, if you think about what you want to do now, it's not going to happen this year. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. But you have to have the mindset for it to happen. And then you've got to think a couple of years down the line and then you will reap the benefits. I've grown my skills beyond belief. I can edit a lot faster. I can film a lot more sufficiently and fluidly. And I've met some wonderful people along the way in doing this. So I've traveled to North Wales, to Portugal, to London, to all, all these different places around the UK and the world to meet and film with fantastic people and I feel very lucky and privileged to be able to do that and I've enjoyed every second with each of them, meeting them and after being locked down for a year, meeting new people and getting out, I felt like everybody had something to say, everybody had something different to bring to the table and it was in all a positive light and I'm very grateful for everybody I've been able to meet this year. My biggest takeaway from the year has been to seize the day and I know it sounds a bit cheesy but now with so much going on, so much uncertainty, now more than ever we have to look at what we want to do with our day each day, wake up and how we want to go about it and what we want to achieve and the best way to do that is to seize it. If you, if something, if an opportunity comes your way, just take it. I've stopped saying no, beating around the bush, oh no, I can't do that because of this. Just go out and do it and see what happens because you need to, you're all well working, yeah, whatever, but you need to go out and enjoy yourself and make the memories and that is what will be more rewarding at the end of the year than all, all the money you could have ever earned put together. If you haven't gone out and had experiences, then what's the point of even working, you know, if you can't go out and do it and enjoy yourself doing it. in doing so. I made it I think one every single week but I had about two months off in the middle and I was a bit slow making them and it wasn't as good. It, it's because like I do an editing job as as my full-time work and it's hard to then sit down and edit your own videos after you've just edited it all day. But I'm sure now I'm faster, a lot more quicker and fluid, I'll be able to just bash them out and be able to get them to you a lot faster and quicker. So I hope to be able to grow my channel. I'd like to be able to improve my surfing a lot, just get out in the water and take a break from computer screens all day. And I'd like to enjoy every single second I am here on this planet, whether that's meeting new people, going out to extravagant locations, you know, sitting through the rain trying to film someone to surf, or just, just enjoying a nice, lovely book. Just enjoy every moment of it because you don't know when it's going to be your last. Thank you to everybody who has watched my videos over the course of the year. I felt like I've grown massively as a YouTube filmmaker because it's completely different to any other type of filmmaking I've ever done. And I feel that now going into 2022, I've set myself up well to be able to continue doing this. 
So look out for more videos to come. I'm really excited to bring in more videos. I've got a couple of backlogs of films that I made while I was away that I haven't got around to editing yet, but they will come in January straight away off the bat. And then we go to the rest of the year and I hope to bring you, you know, more adventure films, history, traveling, documentaries, idea. I've got loads of ideas. I've got a whole board of ideas and it's just which ones I'm going to go for and how I'm going to pick it out and and deliver them to you. I will it'll, it will happen over the course of the year, but there's plenty more to come. So if you want to see more videos, hit that subscribe button now and they'll soon follow. Don't forget to like this video because that'll go a long way in helping me grow this channel, so that'd be much appreciated. But have a happy new year and I'll catch you on the other side.